This is David Chavez. I'm program coordinator for the Department of Culture Affairs and Special Events. I think from our perspective, house music is the latest in the long legacy of, of music that was born and bred here in Chicago. Um, from electrifying the blues to um, gospel and its influence around the country, um, how we um, incubated jazz and are now the home of the most creative jazz form in the world. Um, house music is in that line of, of our musical tradition. Well, I think, I think the idea of a gallery exhibition has been sort of in the air and a lot of people have talked about it over the years. It's a community effort and I think we were just sort of the people to help make it happen, um, both on the city side, but also with our co-curator Rob, uh, came in and helped sort of be the liaison to a lot of this. I think with any music scene that you work with, you're gonna have politics, you're gonna have divisions. Um, and so we wanted to, from the beginning, make, make sure that everyone was included. We wanted to talk to all the different you know, fractions within house music and just make sure that they felt ownership of this gallery and this whole summer long programming. So we'll be having dialogue across the summer um, about house music. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think Detroit and those producers, those early producers, um, like Derek May and Juan Atkins and all these guys, I mean, I think that they were coming to Chicago and were going to the music box and going to, you know, these parties and sort of picking up on what was happening and took it back to Detroit and sort of made it their own um, because it's totally different scenes, different, um, s different set of socioeconomic circumstances that made what they were doing develop into techno as, as we know it and, and house as we know it. But it all stems from the same tree. Oh, <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> this is just the beginning of, of, I think, what we're doing as the Department of Culture Affairs and Special Events to celebrate, you know, what, what we know is our, our rich sort of musical history and our, our, our claim to house music, you know, as its birthplace. Well, Nance, is that correct? Yeah, so um, what we're doing is uh, trying to do a comprehensive activation around house music this summer. The gallery is sort of the, the constant that is happening all summer. Um, the exhibition closes on August 16th, but we have a, a kickoff concert at Millennium Park um, this Friday, the 22nd. And that's a, a, a continuation of the celebration of last year's Frankie Knuckles tribute, we saw the, the, the impact that had and wanted to put house music on the main stage. Um, and so we curated um, and commissioned a band to perform the classic hits of early house days. So um, the roots of, of, of the Culture <coughs> Fairs event is in, in summer names, in summer respect. And so, yeah, also part of that whole activation is we have uh, three summer dance dates with uh, Marshall Jefferson, with um, DJ Pierre and Future, and Derek Carter. Um, we have panel discussions and workshops throughout the summer here at the Culture Center. And we have a film series also. <clears throat> no, so yeah, part of our team, you know, this was, like I said, this was a team effort. Greg Lunsford in our visual art department um, is really the gallery curator. Um, so he's the one that, that had, um, some of the vision to, as to how this would all sort of play out. Uh, we brought in um, Rob McKay to co-curate, um, again, to help collect some of the photos and ephemera that would be displayed. Um, and I really was just sort of helping to inform some of that as we went along, but really it was a team effort and, um, you know, we couldn't have done it without each of these. Yeah, so the, the, the interview archives that Rob McKay was conducting are part of the exhibit. So as you walk through each room, you'll see a TV with um, these interviews taking place. So these are interviews that, that tell the history and the story of house music from the early 80s to now. Um, so that's also within itself an important archive to, to keep and, and, you know, to document what's been happening. Everywhere around the world, people are just... You know, the, the idea initially was to, to see if this could be something that could travel. We haven't really gotten to that point. You know, this is opening day, so we'll see what the reaction is, what the impact is, and uh, we'll see what the interest is. I mean, we ourselves, you know, would love to see this go beyond our gallery space. 
um, but I think it's going to take some some uh, some concerted efforts to to see that happen. I think this is the first of of many, and I think that once this happens fully, you'll see a lot more activations around the world. You'll see other people doing their own gallery exhibits. You may see you know people talking about house music in their town or in their country because it, it's different you know everywhere and again it's it's part of the the socioeconomic sort of circumstances of every location right um, it developed differently in the UK after it left Chicago it developed differently in in, um, in Latin America you know and so I think that those stories need to be told in the grand scheme of the story of house music and its and its worldwide impact I mean one of the I think the importance of this exhibition and everything we're doing is to really educate and inform people on the roots of, of all of this. Everything that we consider electronic dance music, techno, all of the hundreds of subgenres. We have a wall dedicated to all the subgenres of, of, of this music because it has splintered off in many different directions. And uh, But really, its roots are here in Chicago um, in the late 70s and early 80s. Yeah, like I said, I think this is going to help create more buzz outside of the actual house community. I think the impact of the citywide will help um, legitimize, I think, that this is a form of music that needs to be uh, paid attention to by commercial What house music is and, and sort of the role it played when it was developing, it was a, an escape from what was happening outside in the world, right? You had, you know, you know, you had deep recession, you had unemployment, poverty, you had segregation happening still. And house music became this, this oasis for people to go and sort of be who they are and feel accepted. And I think that spirit has remained within the scene from its foundation. So it's always had that community um, consciousness about it. It's always had that, that peace part of it that you don't see in a lot of other scenes. You know, and that's just part sure. um, We invite you all to come down to the Cultural Center 78 East Washington Street to enjoy our um, Move Your Body, the Evolution of House Music exhibition opening now until the 16th of August. Come down, um, spend some time with us, get to know house history.